Yo, what's going on, guys? We are here at the King Snake Mine. This is going to be the DeSalle Jump Spots video. And we're going to do the same format as the last two vids. We're just going to snake our way down, uh, left to right, and then right to left, all the way down. So we finish every compound. So starting out at King Snake Mine, we're going to come right over here to the top side. This jump can give you some outplay potential if people are playing aggressive from the boss layer. And you're attacking and they like that they're liking to push out you can jump up here like this onto this and then you do a little strafe jump onto this roof practice one practice this one a little bit before you do it in a real game but um you can get some like nice angles over to stanley for sniping or if a team is like trying to be aggressive they'll absolutely have no idea you're up here they'll be confused by the audio and maybe you can get something and make it something happen from here but yeah this is an okay spot Unfortunately, you can't really go anywhere from here, but that's about it for King Snake. All right, Stanley Coal Company. This is one of my favorite compounds in the game. I always have insane fights at this place, and uh, just there's lots of movement options here. So one of my favorite things about this compound is uh, you can actually run upstairs here, and this is really good if you're getting chased. If you get tagged, let's say like by a Sparks or something, or just really anything tags you, you can just run like this. You could drop onto here and then just run around and do a quick little rotate on someone and maybe hit him with a spelunky doinky, you know, hit him with the schmooves. Uh, it's really, really nice, and I get lots of value from that jump pretty much every single game. And also another thing people don't really know is you can actually just, like, jump over this and drop down to here and outplay people on both sides. So over here and over here. And I do it tons, and I get lots of clips like that. Even in my last video with the Lamat Carbine, I got a nice clip like that at the very beginning of the, of the video. Okay, Heritage Pork. This one is insanely hard to do, but what we can do is come to this chicken coop here and do a little bit of this. This one was shown to me by Chris Was Taken. <laughs> Again, a classic Chris jump. He showed me this one. Uh, you can get on this, and then from here, you can jump here like that and then jump into this window. It's insanely hard to do, but um, you can do it if you try. Just give a little bit of practice and just make sure you come up here and we use our crouch vault that we learned from the first episode, remember? Use the crouch vault and we can get up here and uh, jump to this window. Pearl Plantation! There isn't much movement outside of the compound, um, but there is a nice jump on the inside that I like to use a lot. Especially if I'm doing something like headsman trolling. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check that one out. Lots of funny stuff in there. But this is what I like to do. Uh, if you come to Pearl, you can actually jump on this and then just jump over here. And this is like a really weird spot. People don't ever check it, really. They literally just walk in and never see you. You can just stand here or here or even here and just outplay people. And even you could see up there if someone's like pushing you from there, you could hold right here with, with like a, you know, any gun and just kill them. I like this spot a lot and it's really cheeky and really sneaky. Use this one in your matches. It's really fun. Upper DeSalle is like one of the worst compounds on the game, in my opinion. It's such a hard compound to assault. Um, there isn't really much movement you can do to get into the compound, but something you can do is if you're escaping or if you're trying to run away from somebody that's tagged you, you can actually go out the windows now and j drop to here, take no fall damage, and then move like that and do a quick little rotate back into the building with no fall damage taken and uh, get a lot of value from that. You can do it on both sides as well. I'll show you really quick. Something you want to be look for when you're playing Hunt, though, you want to look for ways of down something without taking fall damage because, uh, you know, one HP could could be the the your, your life. You know, you could you could die if you take one point of health damage. But, um, yeah, there used to be invisible walls on these, but they recently removed them as of my request. <laughs> and uh, now you can do little rotates from the top and, you know, get down fast and not take fall damage and do be a little bit sneaky, especially at Lightfoot. So, uh, yeah, use these in your games. And uh, always remember, try to fall down without taking fall damage. Best you can. All right, Ash Creek. This compound has a couple things you can do. A couple little cheeky things. Um, one of my favorites, though, is right up here on this balcony. You can do a little peek with this jump into an angle that a lot of people probably don't know about. And you can also get down from there with no fall damage, which is uh, 
obviously really cool. So what we do is you stand on this little log here, like this one specifically. You can jump onto the railing and then jump up here. And if you have any gun, obviously you can just peek over the top of this. Because normally you can't, right? But this gives you that little bit of extra height you need. And you can actually get some cheeky kills. A lot of people don't realize that you can peek from here. I do it all the time. And then you can even just do this, which is kind of nice sometimes. And also from the top, you can fall like onto this and not take any fall damage. You just gotta make sure that you hold W and walk into that wall for a few seconds after you fall there before you go all the way down or else you'll take damage. But yeah, really nice, really easy way to get like down from, from there without letting someone know that you fell and uh, just, you know, quick escape. It's quite nice. All right, Weeping Stone, though, this one, this one you've probably seen, but for some reason, lots of people don't know about it. Uh, it's actually at the water wheel here. It's like, instead of using the ladder and making that clunk, 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 clunk all the way up, you can just jump on this or jump here and just run up. Legit, you can just run up this. A lot of people don't know about it. And you kind of do a little bit of flying motion. <laughs> but uh, it works on both sides and you can just get up really quick to the top floor here and peek someone from this wind, like these upper windows and they might not be expecting it. Or you can even do a little rush. It's quite nice. So yeah, use this one in your games. I use it almost every time I fight weeping. I get value from this, this spot. And uh, it's really, really nice. And even from the bottom, you can actually just wait for... You can stand on these beams and just wait for it to turn around. And you can go from the very bottom here. It would go... It was a little bit quicker. I could show you, but yeah. You can just go like this. Stand on the beam and just get up like that from the bottom without having to use the ladder that's uh, located over here. So it's quite nice. Definitely use this one. All right, Moses Poultry. This compound is Salter's Pork, but better in every single way and absolutely not atrocious to play. So we're going to go up here inside. And this is for defenders mainly. This spot is for defenders. You want to open that door that way. And then you can climb up here. And there's two things you can do from here. You can drop down, vault over, and use these cracks to peek. Or even just peek the door that way. Um, and get some weird angles. And even look that way with a scope. Or you can just literally stand here with any gun and shoot people. It's really, 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 really nice. Or we could drop down out of the door here. And get a nice little, like, head peek glitch. Like, head glitch that people won't really expect to be for you to be peeking from they're not really going to expect you here so you can just sit here and wait for someone to come to that door and definitely get your get a shot or even a kill on them and uh i use this one in most of my games when i'm defending here it's quite nice and i like it a lot seven sisters doesn't really have much movement that we can do uh well one thing i do like to do though is i like to grab a nade and i'll throw it in the crack of the roof here and then while it's going off i'll run up this and just jump in. Uh, you can get some outplay sometimes. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe get a kill from that. And also, never vault that. You should just always, like, try to jump like that. Vaulting is a, a death sentence because animation locks you. And the other thing I can think of here is you can actually normally... People would normally would just expect, like, oh, this is a one-way. You can only go up on this side and jump over. Like, you can't get up. You actually can. If you run and jump into this corner. And then... It's kind of hard to do. You need to wait for the sound. To where your feet like hit the ground. Oh, well, I need to get stamina. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Like that sound there. You see how my feet like hit the ground? And I can actually do a jump. After my feet hit the ground. And I can jump up like that. So you're going to be like kind of floating for a sec. So I'm kind of floating. If you hit the ground, then I can jump and uh, make it up. It's a bit tricky, but uh, I've used it in some fights to like actually outplay someone that was just like crouching right here with a shotgun and waiting for me to peek them and uh, been able to kill them. So definitely, definitely practice this one and figure it out. It's pretty handy. All right, prison. This jump is a bit goofy. Actually, I'm not going to show you the goofy one. I'm going to show you the useful one. This jump is actually insanely useful, and I use it almost every game that I assault prison. 
Um, this compound is actually really badly designed, in my opinion. I think the prison on Lawson is way better. I hate, I hate the style prison. I think it really sucks. It's just way too hard to assault. But, um, this window. So what you want to do is just run up and throw a nade or a fake nade even. And all you do is just vault and just turn left and run forwards with shift and sprint. Or shift and W. You can make it into this window and even times... There's times where you can even take no fall damage if you get it just right. Um, yeah, right there, I took the fall damage. It's a bit random, but uh, yeah, you can get in the window like that, or you could even do it like this, although it's a lot harder to do it this way. But yeah, you could do it like that, or you could just vault from the top and then press shift and W and uh, just get in there. And I do this push a lot, and I get lots of kills that way. It's super good. A lot of people don't know about it, and a lot of people don't expect it. All right, fishery. This has to be one of the most simple, simple, simple jumps. And every time I do it on stream, people lose their marbles. And I don't really know why. It, it's so simple and so obvious, yet a lot of people don't realize it. And uh, it allows for some nice, clean outplays. So what we do is we go inside. We want to break this window prior, usually with a shot, and open this one. If this window's ever closed, you can actually just go from the other side and jump on the pipe here. Crouch and open it, then jump, hold W, jump again. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can just jump back and forth between these windows and just do some nice little rotates on people chasing you or outplay people and uh, get lots of free kills because lots of people will hold this door not knowing that you can come through there. They'll just like sit here with a shotgun and they'll hear your footsteps and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you're right behind them. You kill them. And it's really good. And I use this jump all the time. One of my favorites. So yeah, make sure you use it. And even if you miss it, you can just jump on the pipe. Go back up. And same thing, vice versa. If you miss here, just jump. Well, you can jump over here. And go back up. Yeah, very cool. Very cool jump. Use this one a lot. So, Testimonial Church doesn't really have, like, any cool jumps you can do. Um, one that I do like to do, though, sometimes is from the tower over here. It's really not useful, but sometimes you can get trapped in the tower. You can just, like, go out like this. And, uh, sit here. <laughs> you can't go anywhere from here. But you can just sit here or even drop down, you know, take no fall damage, do a quick rotate from the out of the tower, back indoors, and they'll have no idea that you even drop down, especially if you have light foot. And you can just outplay them and get a sneaky kill, maybe. Nice little flank. And also, you could do this. A lot of people don't realize you can just stand up here. It's not really that useful, but maybe you can make something happen from it. It's cool. Upper DeSalle also doesn't really have much that you can do here, but something that I like to do recently, I posted it in a short uh, in my Bornheim Sensor video as well. I found a really cool, like, sort of peak that you can do. Um, you can pretty much run along the edge of, of the balcony here. And what that does is it, it offsets, offsets your head a little bit and just puts your body in a slightly different position that people won't be really holding or expecting. So you can literally just like run around the entire edge here and get some really interesting angles and just offset your body ever so slightly. People won't expect you to be here because you're slightly lower here than you are up here. Your head's a little bit taller here, a little bit higher up, but here it isn't as much and you can run along the whole edge and even do a little bit of surfing and just get some, some nice angles on people. And also you can also just like drop down the top here onto this and take off all damage and flank so make sure you guys use that reeves quarry has one jump that i like to use if i have a scope uh it allows you to uh peek people at lower to sal coming in and it's up here also you should never take that ladder unless you have light foot you should always just vault up here like this because you can have your gun ready uh never take this ladder but yeah, we can come over here, we can open this window, and we can actually just jump right here. And we can actually look all the way down there, and 
hold an angle. We can't go on this roof, unfortunately. I don't know why we can't. Maybe because you can peek inside from up here, but it'd be an obvious peek if someone was doing it because of the metal. But we can stand here on this little corner and just look over there and get nice sight lines and maybe kill someone across in the field. Um, yeah, that's about it for Reeves. There isn't really much at this place that you can really do. A lot of the stuff got removed pretty early on in the maps release. Um, yeah, I used to be able to like go all the way up top in the rafters and on top of this thing and up here and up there and up here and it was really cool but a lot of it got removed sadly so all right darren has two things that i want to show you here one of them only works if you bring an ammo box or if you get lucky and the ammo box spawns uh right over here if the ammo box spawns you can stand on this ammo box when it's when it's used and you can actually see like into there right you can see you can see perfectly and hold a really nice angle and it kind of gives you a one-way glitch because people don't know that uh people can't see your they can't see you there or wait maybe they can oh yeah they can i'm trolling i'm trolling but uh like basically you'll see them before they see you essentially so it's kind of a one way and it's quite nice the second one is in the boat we can like run up the side we can run up the side and get on top of it here it's kind of hard to do sometimes Takes a bit of finesse, but you can kind of just like run up it in certain spots and jump on top of the boat. Yeah, like that. I missed the jump. Jump around, jump here, jump around. This isn't really that useful, but you can maybe do something with it and grab like a different angle into the boss layer or, you know, some sort of angle to the outsides. Uh, and if you're feeling extra frisky, you can jump over here and stand here. This is about as far as you can go, though. Uh, this would work really good with headsmen. I don't think people would see you here, so you can definitely give that a try. And uh, Chris, show me this again. Chris, shout out to you, dude. But yeah, you can't really do anything from here. That would not work on a server. This does not work on a server. I've tried, but I don't know why it works here. But yeah, that's about it you can do. Port Bolden, land of the loud fire. That's still too loud, even though they've reduced it once or twice. Um... I wish this compound had more movement options, but unfortunately it just doesn't. Like, I really wish you could get into this window somehow from the outside when attacking, because this compound is really hard to attack. They recently added this ladder, which I requested, which helps a little bit. Um, but it's still not that great. So, this is a nice way to attack. It's a bit hard to pull off mid-fight, though, but if you can hit it, it's really good. If you have a teammate hold from that building, you can just, like, do that and a push from this window and they never expect it. Normally, people will, like, hear you out here. They're going to stand on the stairs and hold the angle right here or, like, just watch this window. But you can just, like, chill here and fall down like a bozo. You can just come on this little little beam and uh, just walk and vault. It's a bit hard to hit, but you'll figure it out. No jumping, just walk, hold W, and press your vault key. I'm surprised I did it the first two times. And now I can't do it, which is pretty funny. But yeah, there you go. Nice, nice little jump to, 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 uh, to use when you're pushing and attacking. And also something you can do in the tower here. I'm giving you guys lots of bonuses today. You can just jump down to the barrel there, take no fall damage. Or you could jump to the light here. Or I guess rather there, and take no fall damage. And uh, just rotate from the tower if people are in your building and they know you're up there. You just do a little rotate like that and go to both of the balconies okay the bonus tip for this video is these towers that have like the balcony structures around them there's a couple of them around the map dotted around you can actually get on the roof of them quite easily so let me show you how this works out any of the towers that are all over this map uh you can literally just jump up like right here or I don't think the other towers have this, the little boxes, but you can just walk up like that and boom, you're up. And this will give you some new angles. Like I can see all the way into Seven Sisters from here, which is kind of insane. Um, you know, maybe get an angle on a guy in the tower or, you know, just, just grab a different angle on things sometimes. These are these are all over the place. Like there's one at prison to show you as well. These towers allow you to get on the roof and do some peeking, some different 
different angle peeking. Yeah, I believe this one, we can even look into the courtyard here, to the gym courtyard on the left. You pop into this one. And if you're if you're if you're slick, you can even just do this. I think. Whatever. I can't do it right now. Oh, I did it. <laughs> you could probably you could definitely see someone's head on that that side of the wall if they were uh, if they were over there. You can definitely kill someone from here. Or grab a different angle into the upstairs. You know, lots lots of opportunities with these little towers. <clears throat> All right, guys, that is gonna do it for me. That is going to be the end of the DeSalle jump spots. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you definitely drop it a like. And comment your favorite spot or comment the spot that I didn't show that you uh, like. And maybe I can do it for the next one, for the part twos. So this is, yeah, like this is the third episode. This is DeSalle. Probably going to go back and do part two for Stillwater, Lawson, and then DeSalle. And then we'll do a part three if there's still more that I want to show you guys. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. That's going to be the end of this video. Uh, seriously, drop it a like, leave it a comment. It helps me and the algorithm likes that as well. Thanks for the support. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Don't do drugs. Don't drink and drive. Stay safe. Bye, guys.